Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we got a lot of stuff to do because tomorrow is opening day in West Virginia for rifles so we can kill Bucky for two weeks here. So first things first, I gotta go back there and get the office ready. So I gotta take this propane tank back there so we got heat all the way along. And then next, I gotta go out back and get the vacuum to go back there because you guys saw there's like rat poop or whatever that sucker is on the ground. We gotta get that stuff vacuumed up. So that's the first thing I wanna do today. Take this up there, hook this up, go out back, get the vacuum, run over there, vacuum everything. And then we gotta come back here and shoot our rifles in it because we haven't even done that yet this year. Now we're down here, down back. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this portable vacuum right here. Make sure she's got a battery, she does. So, now let's just hop on Ranger, head out back and start vacuuming and cleaning up everything. There it is, I finally got the floor all done. That's one last thing we gotta do today. Man, that thing looks so freaking good. Now it actually, I wanna come back here, huh? Cause it's actually so clean. I got the mat right there. Usually I come in, take my boots off, sit down, turn the heat on. But I got the propane tank up here, but I don't have the hose that runs from the propane tank to the freaking heater. So I gotta get that before tomorrow morning. But I actually, I'm not gonna be sitting here tomorrow morning. My brother's actually coming out to this stand and I think I'm gonna head up there to the shell pit. He's gonna be in here in the luxury, all of the nice clean car, but he's gonna have the heater and I'm gonna be up there in two man stand just sitting out there roughing it. That's actually gonna suck tomorrow morning, but it is what it is. I wanna go out there and kill a nice buck one more time before the year is over. So I gotta do what I gotta do to get that thing done. But this thing turned out amazing. I guess now let's just head back there to the house, shoot our rifles in, and then go out in the morning and hopefully we can't get one done. We're back here at the house now, and we got the four guns out here that got us in. This one right here is actually the one I was going to be shooting this year. This is the one I'm going to be shooting, and the other two, those are my brothers. He wants me to go ahead and sight him in since he's not going to be able to make it here in time to do it. So I'll do it for him. So I'm going to go ahead and give us four nice little bullseyes right here. Like so. And then, I'm going to go out there and set it out about 100 yards, I'd say. And then we should be pretty good for about 200 yards. But really, no shots that we got is really over 200 yards besides out back. The show pit, the most, is probably 200 yards. So, I think we set out 100 yards. That'll be perfect. I'm going to go out there, set it out probably in the middle of that round right here. Then I'm going to come back here, shoot them all in, and then we're going to be sitting in the stand. So, I just put the box out there. It's like roughly 97 yards, give or take a little bit. But the first gun I'll be shooting is Allie's gun. It should be set in from last year, but I have no idea. So, I guess let's go ahead and wing one down there and see what happens. All right, so the first shot, she was almost right there, hit just the bottom of that bullseye. So I'm gonna bring it up just a tiny bit and I think we'll be going for this gun. All right, I think that right there is perfect. So the next gun we got here is my 30-06. There's gonna be a big difference from shooting this gun to that gun. This one's definitely gonna thump me a little bit more. Holy crap. I haven't shot a big gun like this in a while. This thing right here should be sighted in, just like the 223 was, but I think it did get dinged because I always leave this one sitting in the kitchen and I think my mom hit it, so it might be a little bit off, but we're about to see. Oh yeah, this gun's right there, just like the other one was. Literally hit the same exact spot. Just like a, probably like a quarter inch just outside of that sucker. So, that's still a pretty daggone gun. So I'm gonna do two up, two to the right, wing one more shot, and this thing's gonna be golden. Oh yeah, I gotta move just a little bit more up, and then I think we're gonna be pretty perfect. Too much, move just a little bit too high. Three more clicks down and we're good. I don't even gotta shoot her again. I trust myself. Next up here, we got my brother's 30-06. I think this one's like a Thompson Center or something, and mine's a Savage. This thing does shoot pretty good though. This thing also should be sighted in. The only thing I don't know is sighted in is the AR. And I don't know why he needs the AR sighted in. I guess he's gonna take that thing deer hunting tomorrow morning. This one actually shot about two inches low. So this one was actually a little bit off. And a perfect touch. 
I don't know. I've been doing it a little bit too much this time, so I might be actually be shooting over the circle now. Well, that one blew the whole entire box over. Holy crap. Now I gotta walk all the way back out there and set that sucker back up. So right here was where the 223 was shooting. I shot those two shots and then I moved it up three clicks and over two clicks. So she should be shooting right about there. I don't want to waste any ammo because you guys know ammo is pretty hard to get right now. So she's still pretty good. Even that is killing a deer. My first two shots are right there and I moved it up three clicks and it came all the way up here. I moved it back down two clicks and I put it right there and then I moved it over one click. So we should be somewhere around right there. But for a 30 out 6 it's not going to matter at all. Then my brother's gun, I was shooting right here and I hit all the way down here and I actually had a rock in there holding up the box. And as you can tell, it just blew that sucker all the way up. So I got to move it up probably five clicks. So I'm aiming over here at this one and we should be pretty golden. Actually, matter of fact, I'm aiming back over here at this one just so there ain't nothing that could explode. Because you're definitely going to be able to tell the difference between a 30 out 6 hole and a 223 hole. So let's get back up there and keep on shooting. Still just a tiny bit low. So I got to bring it up probably three more clicks and over about two. And we should be pretty daggone close. That'll help a little bit. Oh yeah, that thing's right there. Move it over one more click to the right and he's actually shooting on the inside of the bulls out right now. Now, we got to in this AR. That's probably going to be the fun one. Cause I don't know, that sight don't zoom in. I think it's only got to like two zoom. So that sucker might take a little bit to shoot in. Cause that's a hundred yards away. The only thing I got is a little red dot sight. I got no idea where that sucker even hit. Let's go down there and see where it is shooting. So my brother started out six. His first shot was right there. And then the second shot, I moved it up a little bit and put it right there. And then I moved it over two clicks. So he's dead on now. And that AR, I was aiming right here in the middle of this. And it only hit right there. So that's actually pretty good. I'm going to move it down like two clicks and one click to the right. And he's going to be golden for both his guns. So that's pretty much going to be the end of us shooting. So we're going to catch you tomorrow out there in the stand. Oh boys, here we go. It's opening day of rifle season out here today. And as you all can tell, we're out here at the chill pit today. <clears throat> and I got my 30 out 6 with me. I got my book bag full of all my cameras and all my filming stuff. I think this morning is going to be pretty, pretty good. And it's 37 degrees right now, which is perfect. I'm hoping some bucks are out there chasing some does and we get a lot of action. But I got no idea what to expect. This is the first time hunting up here at the chill pit in the morning. So I have no idea what we're going to see today. There could be bucks out the ass chasing those, or there could be no action at all. I really just got no idea. We're about to find out, though. What do you think is going to go on this morning? Mm, I think we'll see at least one. We got to at least see just one buck. There's so many bucks down here. If we don't see one buck, that's pretty messed up. I came out here last night, and I pulled the cameras, and we had a pretty good pull. There was a good bit of bucks, so there has to at least be one that comes by. I feel like I've been having all these deer show up on camera. I go out there in person. I just had no luck at all. I started off the year pretty strong and got that one buck, but ever since, it's just been complete shit. So I'm hopefully I can turn things around today. I took the whole entire week off, so at least one of these days I should be able to kill something and maybe even get out of something. I got no idea yet, but well, I guess we're just going to go ahead, since we're still running a little bit early, we can go ahead, throw everything on, run up there to the stand, and we'll catch you guys up there. Alright, so now we got a little bit of daylight now. You guys can probably pick me up on the camera. Oh, we got a deer out there now. I think it was just a dope. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my gun up real quick. Oh crap. Holy Here we go. So we just had two does come across the back of the field. There should be a buck maybe following. I got no clue. I got the gun up and ready though. It's still really, really, early, guys. These things are moving early. Holy crap. I was just about to say, we've had no action all morning long. And the turkeys finally started chirping back there. So I decided to turn on the camera and get ready because I knew stuff was about to start moving. What's the chance? I start recording on the camera and then the deers walk right out in the back of the field. Didn't even have my freaking gun up because I was trying to get the cameras on. That's about how my season's been going this year. Gosh darn it. There goes those turkeys again, they're out there gobbling and chirping. Well, I guess I'm gonna cut the camera off and wait for something to pop back out. I won't be ready this time, so I'll catch you when something comes out. Holy crap. 
yet again. Here they come. They're running. You guys would not believe what just freaking happened. We just got out here for the evening sit and on my way in, Lucky was literally sitting at the base of my tree after a doe. He stopped at the bottom of my freaking stand and I just gave it to him. He's literally laying right over there in the woods and I did not even get it on camera. You can't even make this crap up. I was literally walking into my stand. I was getting in here pretty late this evening. I was hoping to get in here about one-ish. I got in here about 2.30 on the way in. He was literally hauling as after our doe. And I peeked up over the hill and me and him was literally five yards away from each other. He stopped, looked back at me broadside and I just freaking whacked him. He fell right there in his freaking tracks. Holy crap, I wish I would've got it on video, but today was gonna be a self film. I didn't have nobody out here to film me today. I actually rode in here with my uncle and he just cracked his gun over there, so he just got something too. Man, tonight was literally the perfect evening. I was debating whether or not come out here or not, but man, I'm so glad I came out. I wish I would've got it on film for you guys, but it is what it is. I was not letting that deer get past me because I got people hunting on my right side now and I got people hunting on my left side. So I knew once I got that chance, I was going to give it to him. And I got that chance and man, I squeezed that trigger and he didn't go far at all. But I'm actually up here in the tree stand now. I'm hoping to get me a doe tonight to tag out so I can move to a different state and start hunting and tag out for West Virginia. But I don't know if I'm going to get that lucky or not tonight, but I got lucky. That's all I care about. And when they say smoking a cigarette brings in a deer, you best believe that was true. Because before I got out here to the stand today, I smoked me a cigarette and not even, I didn't even get into my stand and I already had lucky right there in front of me. I guess the old times were right about that because I was going to bring one today and smoke it in the stand, but I didn't have to. I got him on the way in. I can't wait to show you guys. This thing is just huge. There's a backstory. Because I have a bunch of story with this deer I've never told you about. So I'm going to make sure I'll tell you guys the whole entire story. But man, I'm just freaking pumped. There's no way. All the time I have in this freaking food plot, it finally paid off. But we're going to go ahead and climb out of the tree stand. And I'm going to go over there and show you Lucky. And then I guess we're going to get the dragon. Alrighty guys, so before I get out of my stand, i got to tell you guys the backstory of Lucky. I've had so many encounters with that freaking deer. The first encounter I had was opening day of bow season in West Virginia. That first video I posted of me hunting and all those deer were funneling into me, I had at least 15 deer out in front of me. So I had my compound bow that day and it was just hard for me to get a shot off. But I was not going to let Lucky slide that night. So I had all the deer funneling into me and I thought I had a perfect shot. So I went over, I grabbed my bow and I turned back to make sure Allie was recording me. And at that time there was a doe behind me and she snorted right at me and all the deer started running. The only deer that stayed behind, believe it or not, was Lucky. And I'm gonna just roll a clip of what just happened. So you guys just watched that clip and you guys saw, I did wing an arrow right at him. After all the deer got scared, he started to walk away. And right before he walked into the woods, he turned his neck right back at me. And as you guys can hear, it double hit, so that obviously means I hit him. So I'm gonna go back and watch it really, really slow and show you guys. It actually did go right through his neck. It just never killed him, and that's why he got named Lucky, because he lucky he didn't die that day. And I knew after I hit him that time, that deer was mine. And so about a week went by and he finally showed back up on camera and look at these freaking pictures. As you guys just saw, there was a straight hole right through his neck. But after that whole week that he did not show up, it started to heal back up. But after that, he was disappearing here and there. And then I found out my cousin was hunting over to the right of me about 100 yards. And I found out one of my buddies was hunting on the left side of me about 100 yards. And I was getting pinched. But I knew I still had the better opportunity to kill Lucky just because it had the clover plot and everything. So at that time, I knew I needed to be in that stand about every morning and every evening. So rifle season came around and I knew this was the time to shine. I knew Lucky was going to show back up and it was my time to kill him. 
Matter of fact, the first day I sat, I didn't have no action at all. And then the second day I sat, that evening, he decided to show back up, and man, I just freaking gave it to him. I didn't get it on camera because I didn't have nobody film with me, but I knew that's the only opportunity I was going to have to kill that deer because I had somebody hunting to my right and somebody hunting to my left. And I already had so much history with this deer and I was not going to let him slide. So once I got the opportunity, I just gave it to him. And that was pretty much the story of Lucky. Now let's get back to the video of me going over to pick him up. Alrighty, I just got out of the tree stand. I'm going to walk down here and show you guys Lucky. Man, this thing is a giant. So literally, my tree stand is right over there. And I'm going to show you where I shot him. He wasn't technically under my stand, but he was right there close by. Holy crap. Let's walk right down here in the woods and show you him. Put that gun down. Alright. Oh, here we go. We're walking up on Lucky now. Holy freaking crap. This deer is huge. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Man, this deer is huge. Holy crap, the deer I've been after for so freaking long. I finally got him done. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Man, that is just unreal. The story of this deer. I wasn't even in a freaking tree stand. Walking to my freaking tree and I smoked him. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that's the end of the story of Lucky. Man, I can't leave it into that way. It wasn't the way I planned on it going, but I'll take it. But make sure y'all stay tuned because there's going to be more hunting videos coming. Because I still got to get out a couple more deer. But make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn those post notifications on. And we're going to catch you on the next one.